Hello friends. The determination of fluffing and pilling tendency in fabrics with the Martindale method. This is an evaluation of fluffing and pilling on the textile fabric surface as a result of friction. Pilling occurs when the ends of fibre blend into each other to form pellets as a result of friction. In this test, we use the Martindale abrasion and pilling device. 140 mm diameter sample cutter, 140 mm wide bottom felt, 90 mm diameter top felt, a holder apparatus for preparing the sample, sample holders, loading weights and 2.5 kg presser foot to place abrasive cloth. Before preparing the test specimen, we condition it under standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. The conditioned specimen is subjected to washing and dry cleaning pre-process upon customer's request. The washing or dry cleaning process is not done if the customer does not demand it. The pre-treated sample is reconditioned for 24 hours and the sample is prepared. We lay the sample on a flat surface. We cut the sample of at least 150 millimeters from inside the edge of the fabric. After placing the sample on the bottom tray, we cut 140 millimeters diameter sample with the sample cutter. We cut knitted and woven fabrics as abrasive fabrics and prepare three pairs of samples randomly exhibiting all characteristics of the specimen. We use standard felt as abrasive cloth for upholstery fabrics. The diameter of felt fabric is 140 millimeters. We place the sample, we cut in a way that the front side of the sample positioning apparatus looks downwards. Placing the rubber collar of the sample holder below, we place the 90 mm diameter weft on top of the sample. After placing the sample holder, we squeeze the side of the sample holder with the collar. Whereas a weight of 155 grams is used in sample fabrics, in woven and upholstery fabrics, we place the 260 gram load cell and put it in the testing device. Putting three samples prepared in this way into the device, we place the abrasive fabric on the table. We prepare the abrasive fabric for three samples adjusted to the sample holders. The manual on top of the Martindale device is lowered to the ground. First, the 140 mm diameter felt and the abrasive fabric are placed on each of the tables belonging to each sample on the abrasing surface in a way that the front side of the sample stays on top. As we said before, knitted and woven fabrics are abrasives themselves, whereas 100% woolen abrasive fabric is used for upholstery fabrics. After placing the 2.5 kilogram presser foot on the sample, the tightening screws are passed through rings. Screws are tightened on the edges with screwing apparatus. The presser foot is removed and the abrasive fabric is placed on the table. 
Then, balls of the abrasive device are moved from the abrasing position to the pilling position. These balls enable the sample holder manual to move smoothly. Three pieces of free balls are greased beforehand so as to form Lucigoy's pattern more efficiently. After the balls have been brought to the pilling position, the sample holder is placed on the manual. When placing the samples, they are placed on the abrasive table in accordance with the numbers on the sample holders. We place number two in a way that the abrasive surface of number two faces the surface of the sample. The total weight of the sample is 155 grams for knitted fabrics. For woven and upholstery fabrics, a weight of 260 grams is put on the sample holder and a pressure of 415 grams is exerted. We do not put the weight because it is a specimen fabric. We place sample number three in a way that the abrasive surface faces the surface of the sample. Likewise, we place the samples in the sample holder number on the table in a way that their surfaces face each other. In accordance with standards, the number of abrasive friction is checked at 125, 500, 1000, 2000, 7000 RPM. First, if there is a designated rubbing motion according to the customer's demand, it is entered directly. If the rubbing motion is not determined, it is started with 125 and the number of the abrasive friction is increased step by step. For this, the total number of the rubbing motion is entered on the screen. For sample number 7, sample holders with 125 RPM are brought to the functioning position. Because number 1 will not work, it is brought to hold position. Because number 5 will work, it is brought to run position. The device is executed by pressing the start button. The device is forming Lucy Goy's pattern, which is made of 16 scrubbing movements. When the number of the abrasive rubbing we entered is reached, the test device stops automatically. At the end of the test, the test sample is removed from the sample holder and is evaluated with the FLISCOP device.
replacing the sample that we have tested in the Martindale pilling evaluation on the front surface, we put the original sample beside it and compare it with the standard photographs whose degree of pilling is between 1 to 5. 1 is the worst result, while 5 is the best. Separate images are used for ratings.